Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? I think all of you are well. By the grace of Almighty Allah, I am also well. Most welcome to online class of Rangamati Government High School of Class 8 of English Second Part. Dear students, we have taken a lot of classes online on grammar topics. In our last class, we have taken a class about article. Our today's class is about article. Dear students, we have given you some homework. I think all of you have performed that homework at your home. Dear students, as we told, article is two kinds, definite articles and indefinite articles. A N is called indefinite article and B is called definite article and sometimes we did not uh, put any article we have to put there a cross so dear students there is 10 filling the blanks in article and marks will be 10 into half is equal to 5 dear students in your answer script we don't need to write full faces you have to write only answers clearly in your answer script. Dear students, as we know that article mainly used before noun or noun equivalent, but sometimes it is used in all parts of speech except pronoun, especially article is set before noun or noun equivalent. Dear students, there is a lot of rules for articles and you need not to memorize all sorts of rules but you have to practice contextually and then you can expert in setting putting article in using article in a passage or in english grammar so dear students follow the board at first the question is fill in the gaps in the following text with appropriate articles A and B, put a cross where no article is used. Marks half into 10 is equal to 5. And I am going to the passage this time. Newspaper plays dash important role in our society. It is dash most useful thing in our modern life. We cannot think of dash day without it. To read newspaper is dash with habit, dash more we read newspaper, dash more we can acquire knowledge. If we don't read it, we shall be dash, the fox in dash dark well. And the last sentence is, it is dash, looking glass of dash modern world. So dear student, this is the passage of our today's grammar. Now we are explaining the articles. At first here you are watching newspaper plays this important role. And before important you have to use an article and important word contains a first letter I and that is definitely a vowel. So definitely we have to use here newspaper plays an important role in our society. It is a most useful thing. Dear students, always you have to watch, always you have to follow uh, the word before article. And if you follow that word which is used after article, then it will be easy for you to set an article in your presence, in your grammar. So, there is most, it's a superlative degree. So far we know that before superlative degree, we have to use B. So in filling the blanks number B, we have to use B. It is the most useful thing in our modern life. And next sentence is, we cannot think of this day without it. Here is day with a noun, and before this noun, and as this uh, D is not a vowel, so it's a consonant, so definitely here we shall use uh, A. And why not here is D? Because uh, it is not definite 
any day. It means any day. So we have to use here of a day. To read newspaper is guess good habit. The students hears the word is good and definitely this is an adjective and before adjective we have to use here an article and definitely that is a. Uh, to read newspaper is a good habit. There is a lot of good habit. It is one kind of good habit, not certainly good habit, not certainly one good habit. So we have to use here instead of B, we have to use here A. Then, this more we read newspaper, this more we can acquire knowledge. In groups of particle, uh, where more is used, more more is used, comparative degree, then definitely we have to use here definite article and that is B. The more we read newspaper, the more we can acquire knowledge. Full stop. Then dear students, if we don't read it, we shall be just the frogs in this dark well. Dear students, uh, this is uh, frogs in this dark well. It's a phrase, present idiom and present idioms contain the fixed articles and what is the fixed articles you have to use only that article so in this sense uh, you have to memorize you have to remember uh, some important present idiom so that you can put perfect article on that present idioms so dear students you have to use here we shall be the frogs in a dark well according to the present idioms before frogs we have to use b and before dark we have to use a and uh, students we are now in last sentence and that is it is this looking glass of this modern world it is looking glass that is uh, forming noun so it is a looking glass as it is not certainly which looking glass so we have to use here indefinite article and definitely that will use a as there is consonant before looking so it will be it is a looking glass of this modern world there is modern world is definite so we have to use here b so last sentence article answer will be it is a looking glass of the modern world. So dear students, this is the answer of our today's article. I think you have understand, you have understood well and you have to practice a lot at your home. Uh, so far we know that article is easy but without practicing it will not easy to us. Uh, before taking our next class we are getting seven days at all uh, so we ha you have to practice at least uh, seven articles at your homes and from your practice book and after uh, writing that passage of articles then you have to match it with your uh, practice book or with your teachers or seniors at your home dear students uh, articles uh, is seems too easy but uh, maximum of the students of our schools not get full marks here because they don't uh, practice it they practice it a few only at their home they have to practice it a lot and uh, before it is article definite and indefinite article you have to use proper article uh, in your passage, in your grammar and without using proper article, pr proper article, uh, you, the sentence will not be correct and you will not get marks and your English will not be correct. So dear students, uh, you have to uh, follow it, you have to observe it, you have to remember it, uh, that you have to use. Um, the correct article in your passage and in English grammar. So dear students, uh, till then 
be safe, stay home, and with your family and you take care of you and your family, and uh, you should take part in online classes. So before that, thank you all. Goodbye.